Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a half case break of 2021 Bowman Baseball. This is Randy Team Round 3, half case from a fresh case, no paper ships. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. There are the 30 teams right there. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a six, ten times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Different dice roll for the giveaway part at the end of the break. Jeremy down to Brandon. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After ten times, we got the Padres down to the Bo Sox. I guess the maid isn't coming. Yeah. Help out Uncle Logan. Jeremy Port with the Padres. Brandon with the Diamondbacks. Derek with the Blue Jays. Brett with the Royals. Tristan with the Angels. Brandon with the Tigers. Tristan with the Twins. Chris with the White Sox. Eugene, last spot mojo star next to your name with the Rocks. Brandon H with the Guardians. Tristan, Mets and Pirates. Brandon with the Brewers. Peter with the Yankees. Paul with the Reds. Uh, Derek with my Dodgers. They're up 3-1 on the Rangers here, bottom of the fourth. Brett with the Cubbies. Paul with the Nats. Chad with the Giants. Adam with the Redbirds. Darren with the O's. Brett with the Strohs. Travis with the Rangers. Tra Rangers don't really have like a nickname, right? Whether official or not, like Strohs. You can just shorten Astros. Uh, Tristan with the Marlins. Michael with the M's, right? Eugene with the Fightin' Phils. Tristan with the Bravos. I guess this A's are already short, right? The athletics for Paul. Brandon with the Rays. I guess really no. Bo Sox, right? You can say Bo Sox for the Red Sox. What do the Rangers have? Gers? No, one's, no one calls them Gers, right? That's silly. That's stupid, Joe. All right. <laughs> Let's alphabetize by team. I think Dimebacks would be like the Snakes. Anyway, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Uh, and then we'll have the break. So we'll see you on the, on the, uh, on the other side of the trade window. Be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done. Here is the fresh case, second half in the store. Here is the final printout, hot off the presses. Thanks everyone for making this happen. We'll randomize everybody's names at the end to see who gets an entry for, for the uh, chase. The Mantle promo. Our, one of our biggest promos yet, details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. But long story short, we're giving away a 1952 Mickey Mantle card, PSA 2, which is pretty awesome. A, uh, what, I mean, what, what do we have, the, the value on that? We have the value at, value's a lot. And yeah, we've got it valued at over $60,000 at the time of this promo. Six zero thousand, 60, not six, 60. Now, it is one of the most iconic cards in the hobby. My guess is that, you know, that it's gonna, it's gonna hold that value for a long time, if not increase as time goes on. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Five, right side. So left side, we will save for a uh, random team four. Now, in addition to the Mickey Mantle, we're also giving you $3,000 in travel credit uh, so you can pick up the Mickey Mantle. We want you to pick up the Mickey Mantle. We would prefer you to pick that up. So 
So Logan was like, Logan was saying before we started the break or during the trade window, he's like, can't wait to meet you guys when I pick up my mantle. Yeah. Now, you're like, so in case you're w wondering, you're like, how does, how does that work? Um, we're basically just giving you $3,000 to use for travel. So if Logan, for example, were to win, Logan would be very extremely happy. Logan will figure out when he could take a couple days off. And he'll make arrangements to travel with the three thousand dollars we're gonna give him. Now you're thinking, Joe, does Logan have to use all of that? No. I mean from Salt Lake City, Logan, what what do you think a round trip would take? Not that much if you plan ahead. I mean, you could probably even splurge for for a first class, Logan. You can probably get a first class ticket on a, on Delta, a nice airline. You could probably leave whenever you want. It could probably be I don't know. I'm guesstimating, but if you plan ahead far enough, you can probably get it for a thousand bucks, maybe. Round trip, first class seats to LA from Salt Lake City, nonstop. And uh, I don't know where there, there's gotta be fancy hotels around here somewhere. I know there's fancy, there's some, some nice hotels in Santa Monica, but there's literally a hotel five minutes walking distance, two minutes walking distance, three to five minute walking distance from Jaspi's, door to door. And it's a, it's a Hampton Inn, it's a Hilton Hotel. That's only maybe two, three hundred bucks a night. Even during, maybe a tiny, maybe three, three, three fifty a night during like peak, peak summer season, I guess. A couple nights there, that's not so bad. Still have a bunch of money left over for Uber to the airport and back, food. Food and drinks. All right, so none of this paper is gonna ship unless it's numbered, obviously. All the chrome will ship. Now the question is, if you win the card, what do you, what do, you do with it? I mean that's that's the sort of that's the that's the sort of card you know it's like I'm trying to think of a good way to think about it it's almost like uh, at that level it's almost like artwork right here's a Braves Freddie Freeman to 499 it's something you can pass down generation to generation Mickey Mantle I think would will will always be, you know, a legend. And in a way, he's, he's a little more, you know, more modern, right, than, than someone like Babe Ruth. You know, that could be a great sort of non-cash or security asset or bond or whatever asset to have in, in, in the portfolio. There's Robert Hassel to 299 Padres. You 
There's our auto, Antonio Gomez. Bowman first autograph for the Yankees. That'll be for Peter. One auto a box. There's Nick York to 125, Aqua. Gonna be for the Bo Sox, that'll be for Brandon. Alright, that's box one, next box. In this Dodger game here. Gavin Lux is hitting sixth tonight. Interesting. It's one for two. Nice. Nice, Freddie. Nice, Will Smith. Good work. All right, box two. Dodgers are hosting the Rangers. Dodgers are up 6-1 right now. I uh, got a lot of finals in baseball. After a travel day for most teams yesterday, we've got a, a more complete, more full slate today. In Milwaukee, Blue Jays shut out the Brewers. Uh, in Kansas City, a uh, matchup of two first place teams. I think the Royals are in first. But the Yankees crushed them 10 1. Judge and Stan crushing mammoth home runs. End up punctuating the Yankees' blowout win, according to ESPN. Paul Skeen strikes out eight and apparently receives a standing ovation from Cardinals fans. The best fans in baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Always praised for that, right? The smartest fans in baseball. Pirates beat the Cardinals 2-1. Breaking news, Paul Skeens is pretty good. In Minnesota, Rockies beat the Twins 5-4. Ryan McMahon had a 441-foot home run. Um, did I leave Ryan McMahon on my bench? He's been hitting like like dog poop for like the last, I did. That's why he hit that home run, obviously, because I benched him on my fantasy team. Uh, Phillies beat the Red Sox 4-1. Kyle Schorber returns to Fenway and hits two home runs. Marlins beat the Mets 4-2 in New York. Uh, in Cincinnati, Guardians beat the Reds 5-3. Tyler Freeman robbing the Reds back-to-back -back home run drives. Rays beat the Cubs 5-2. Brandon Lau with a walk-off three-run homer for the Rays. Cubs bullpen issue still persist. In extras, Nationals beat the Tigers 5-4 in Detroit. Lane Thomas had a sack fly. Orioles shut out the Braves 4-0. Jorge Mateo, three-run homer in the first. His first at bat off the I.L. Games in progress, bottom of the fifth in LA. Dodgers are leading the Rangers 6-1. Runners at the corners. Gavin Lux up to bat, one out. Astros are in San Francisco. They're leading 3-1 in the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the top of the seventh in San Diego. Padres leading the A's 3-1. Bottom of the seventh in Seattle. White Sox are leading the Mariners 3-2. Maybe setting up another dramatic finish in that game. Top of the sixth, Angels are in... Uh, in Phoenix, they're playing the Diamondbacks. They're up 5-3, and Gavin Lux with a single. Is Gavin Lux turning a corner? Been struggling a little bit this season. Maybe he's improving. Coming off that... Hmm. 
There you go, Gavin. I'm okay with that. There's Nick Gonzalez, 7 out of 5-0-50. Uh, Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates is going to be for Tristan. A little color match there. There's Gavin Lux right there. He's been, uh, I mean, obviously, missed entirety of last season with that, that ACL. It's going to take some time for him to kind of get into the groove of things, but it is getting later into the season. But maybe turning things around, which would be good for the bottom of that Dodgers order. We can get Bobby Miller back soon. And uh, James Beard to 199. That'll be for Chris Perrin and the White Sox. Good hustle, Andy Pajas. And Zach Veen. Uh, 55 out of 150 blue chrome autograph for Eugene and the Rockies last spot mojo now this guy is a former top 10 pick how is Zach Veen looking let's go to MLB.com Rockies top prospects he's still number six in the Rockies organization Still in, is he still in rookie ball? Yeah, I'm still in, still in rookie ball. Maybe there was an injury or something like that. It's not his Bowman first autograph, but it's still in auto. It's got an overall scouting grade of 55, which should be, you know, at least a, a solid big leaguer. Top ranked high school player in the 2020 draft. One pick behind uh, Robert Hassel in that draft. Solid first year with single A. Struggled at double A, had a good Arizona Fall League. Ah, in 2023, a wrist injury ended his season after 46 games. So when healthy, Zach Veen has shown the ability to do a lot of things while on the baseball field. Still only, 2020, uh, still only 22 years old for all the 2024 season. There's still uh, plenty of projection in the six foot three left-handed hitting outfielder. It's hard to know exactly what his power potential is because he attempted his attempts to play through his wrist injury change his mechanics, apparently. But the Rockies like where his swing is at now, staying more on plane. But when his top hand wrist was hurt, he couldn't finish balls and had gotten way too steep with the swing. Maybe chopping down on it a little too much. While Venus' uh, above average pure run speed, his instincts and aggressiveness on the base pass make him a plus base ceiling threat. He's improved defensively and should see time in both outfield corners. With the organization excited to see what a true healthy Veen can do at the upper levels. They've got him listed as in, in rookie ball, but... But maybe they're, they're starting him off there. No, he's in double A. Yeah, hitting 326, 
and an OPS of 986 in uh, in double A. That's pretty good, as opposed to in 2023, where he only played 46 games, 611 OPS. But more in line with his 2022 season, where he played, where he got almost 500 at bats, had 724 OPS. It's really solid. Handful of so this this is a 986 OPS and only 95 at bats, 28 games, but four doubles, two triples, five homers, a dozen dozen ribs, nine stolen bases. It's not bad. I don't see why the Rockies wouldn't call him up at some point this season to get some regular playing time. It's not like they're really going anywhere. Austin Hendrick. That was going to be numbered for a second, but no. Since this is a 2021 product, it's always fun to kind of look up where some of these players are at now. See how they're progressing. It's always good, good, uh, good check-in. There's uh, Blake Walston, 003 out of 250, purple paper for Brandon and the Snakes. There's Heston Kirkstad to 125, futurist insert for Darren and the O's. And there's your autograph, Daryl Collins, Kansas City Royals. That's going to be for Brett Rogers and Kansas City. According to MLB.com, Daryl Collins not on the prospects list. Not in the top 30 anyway. But hopefully he'll crack that soon. I think he's still with the Royals though. Or Ronald Acuna. Man, we got a Brett Beatty. Green Mini Diamond 79 out of 99. Tristan and the Mets. Tristan and the Mets. Doom, 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 doom. All right, halfway through this half case break. Thank you. 
Yeah, this is a nice crowd for a Tuesday night. It's pretty full. We got a Joe Kelly jersey. Joe Kelly, pretty popular here in Southern California. Jonah Heim getting dinged up back there behind the plate. Oh, they're not going to replay it. Must have gotten him in the uh, in the nether regions. How do you feel about the break or an act that will list the break and immediately accept offers? They post high and accept low. Is it, do I feel it's shady practice or smart business? Um, I don't think it's shady. You know, I mean, there's margins in every business and there's margins for every product and it really just depends on on, uh, you know, it really just depends on what, uh, you know, what they're, what they have to pay for, what their business is, how quickly they need to move stuff and blah, 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 blah. I, I personally don't like it. Uh, I don't begrudge anyone who does it. That's, I, I don't think it's shady. I personally just, if I, you know, here at Jaspies, I'd we try to avoid that as much as possible. You know, but yeah, on on Fnatic, there seems to be that to be that bit of uh, the 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 culture of like asking for. I think it's common on some of the other other sort of selling platforms, right? Like whatnot and Loop and stuff. There's Yordan to three nine. Maybe it's just the nature of that audience. Jordan Alvarez going to the Astros, Brett. So I think that's, that's, you know. There's Brian uh, Buelvas. Yeah, listen, I, I don't think it's like, you know, I'm not going to die on that hill saying people shouldn't do it. They can do that if they want to, and then, you know, let their audience decide if they, if they enjoy that or not. Paul with the A's. Uh, you know, I don't think we would do it like that. There's Josiah Gray to 199. With the, for the Dodgers, he's with Nats now. Derek has the Dodgers. But I could see where some people would think that would be a little uh, disingenuous, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to, how how would you feel if you were if you were if there was a team that was uh, that was listed at 100 bucks and you bought it at 100 bucks thinking it was a fair price, but knowing that you could have got it for $75 if all you did was ask? Sometimes I think that, uh, I think you, you can run the risk of devaluing your, uh, your product, in my opinion. Like if, it's like if you, if you always, if you always run a sale, you know, or run discount promos all the time, then that stops becoming special, right? So you kind of have, but sometimes you have to have a sale, you know, but I think that kind of, I think that's that's kind of business-wise, especially in a retail world. I feel like you kind of have to stick with your guns on your own pricing, otherwise you're just devaluing your, or you train a audience to just expect discounts all the time. 
even if you have a fair price on your on your stuff, then you really start running out of wiggle room. Two run home run for Shohei. We've been a little cold the last week or so. Really, I, I, had no, I, I didn't realize that. You have to take a four hour training class on whatnot before you can sell. It's actually kind of, kind of smart. Instead of just trying to build best practices. You know, you, But yeah, I mean, maybe it's maybe that's a common practice amongst among some uh, some sellers. You know, we try to like it was kind of like I'm trying to think of another example. Like I've seen breakers will post like a baseball break, right? And they they pull the Yankees or whatever team for Yankees, for example. They'll they'll pull them immediately before even giving people an opportunity to, to buy the Yankees outright, you know what I mean? Um, why, I don't know. But that raises a lot of questions sometimes because then they're like, uh, then it comes to find out some breakers are saving the Yankees for their friends. You know, or their, or their higher end customers or something like that. But I think you limit yourself on broadening an audience that way if you know you're not getting a fair chance to buy a team no matter who you are. Woo! Back to back, Freddie Freeman with a home run. Freddie going oppo with that. Is this how the pro athlete does it? I'm, I'm, I'm watching Shohei Tani the dugout drinking out of a giant jug. It looks like a, it looks like, like one of these metal water bottles, but instead of like a cup holder style size, it's like, it's like the size of a dinner plate. It's 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 a uh, it's a weird needle to thread, but generally speaking, you know we believe that. And if you look at all the the, the price checking, there's like a price checker account who looks at all the group breaks and call themselves the 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 kayak of group breaks. We're we're usually for most products we're usually amongst the the cheapest in terms of pricing. So we believe that our prices are pretty good. Just from the just from the get go, and we kind of stand by that for the most part, and hope that people will respect that price and buy it outright. You know, sometimes if a break gets a little a little slow, you gotta you gotta try to do what you can to keep the lights on for the night, but. There's Jordan Adams, blue paper to 150. So yeah, on the Fanatic side, it's it's a little uh, that's number two. Since I feel like it's the nature of the beast on that platform. 
because people are so used to it now. 36 out of 125, Royce Lewis. Not my favorite thing in the world, but, you know, not a, not a huge deal, though. There's uh, Andy Rodriguez for the Mets. That's another homer. Woo! Teoscar Hernandez, another home run. He was hitting bombs against the Yankees over the weekend, hitting them here in L.A. Oscar Hernandez, I, I was saying, I've said it most of the season, I've been saying the Dodgers need a little bit of a, a bit of a dog. That's right, three. They, they, Dodgers need a little bit of a, a, a dog. They've got too many like sort of low-key professional hitters, like really good hitters, but, but Teoscar Hernandez seems to be a guy that can be really clutch. He's... You know, it's got a lot of energy, a lot of vocal energy, fires people up. I like that. That's, that's the kind of dog that the Dodgers need, especially in the playoffs. And Teoscar Hernandez wants it too. He, he says he, he says that, uh, well, we know that he could have gone... I know, right? Look at him, like, just rake today. Yeah, that's, that's baseball, man. You're going to lose one to nothing. It'll be one nothing, yeah. It's Tyler Glass now. Sorry. I know. It'll, it'll be like, poor Tyler. We'll, we'll just get one run. Tyler's like, where are, the, where are those runs for me? But Teoscar Hernandez wanted to go to the Dodgers. He wanted to be on a big team, you know, go deep in the playoffs play on the big stage. He embraces that role. He wants that role. I, I like that. Yeah, he took less money to be here. Yeah, so hopefully... But I, mean, I, like, I was saying... He's going to pay, but maybe he takes yeah. a little bit of a discount because he wants to win. Right. And he loves the atmosphere here. And like, he likes the... Did you see him in, 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 over the weekend? Like yeah. against the Yankees? He was so good there. He likes that shit. And I was saying like, that. this is the kind of guy you need in the playoffs. Like someone oh, yeah. with a little fire. Uh-huh. He yells, he screams, uh -huh. he gets players fired up. Yeah, him and Otani get along really well. Yeah. It was like, it was like Kike, prime Kike, yeah, like years ago. Like, we're in the playoffs. He was like clutch. Kind of, the Dodgers need that, that little bit of energy at that bottom part of the lineup. Tyler Soderstrom to 199. Another player, Jimmy, saying uh, that was great on his first team, disappeared as a Mariner, and then went on to be great after. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that happens more often than not. We'll, have, we'll be happy to send you Chris Taylor back, though, Jimmy. Tell the Dodgers to take it easy. You think Tyler Glassnow is watching this and being like, where are these runs for me? No. Save some for me. I don't think he's saying that. No. What's he thinking? Um, we'll man, take. I can't wait for this game to be over so I can go home and <laughs> play Xbox. This is true. Starting pitcher on an off day. What, 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 what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, right. you're just like, man. When's this game gonna be over? Is there a break after this? Uh, yeah. This is where like you you'd like if you're the manager you're finding guys if they if they take pitches right. Yeah. You're like you got to swing at everything. Put Vargas in the game. Need some major league at bats. Did Otani homer? Otani did homer. Dude, I have him for two home runs this game. 
Really? No. Oh. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I was like, that's that's an that's a it's a interesting play. You might get one more at bat. <laughs> It's home run derby here. When did the position players start pitching? Seriously. Maybe Vargas goes out there and throws an inning. Jason Hayward's been playing all right, huh? Yeah, he has. 107 off the bat. Like, it's usually this time of night, I mean, it's usually kind of hard to hit homers at this time of night, so they're really cranking these out there. It's like low 60s, a lot of humidity, just that ocean air, but they're, they're destroying these baseballs. This might be, this might be position player pitching alert, ladies and gentlemen. It's only the bottom of the six. This might be, I don't know, find like the, 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 the last pitcher, the last pitcher in the bullpen and put him out there, the never used guy. Put him out there. Joey Votto to 399. Uh, that's for Paul and the Red Legs. And we got Beck Way. 34 out of 299. Yes, Way. Beck Way. Peter with the Yankees. Speckle autograph. And that's that. Now let's see what else we have here. Oh, you know what? I didn't even open up the rest of these. But here's Kivani, uh, Keone Kavako to 499. Twins, that'll be for Tristan. Oh, look, at these, look at these. Look at these kids these days. Vaping, getting the mood swing, seeing the commercials about them. You know, in the old days, in the old days, kids would just smoke old-fashioned cigarettes. You know, without the, uh, without all the artificial chemicals that you find in a vape pen. Terrible, terrible for them. All right, second half. Sexton, Sean Figgins, Beltre, Bedard, Teoscar, Cliff Lee, Carlos Silva, Jeff Cirillo. Wow, that Jeff Cirillo. I remember, I remember uh, Rockies. Jeff was Jeff Cirillo a Rocky before or after? Are we pulled the autograph. We're just looking for parallels here now. Oh, 
Four. I mean that's 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 a lot of different eras. Like what, what what's happening? What's happening in Seattle? I guess in your unless you're like an elite talent, like Ken Griffey Jr., you're not you're not hitting well out there. I guess. All right, that's the break. Here are your autos. Uh, the Beckway auto went to Peter and the Yankees. All right, now let's see who's going to win a Chase the Mantle spot. Let's flip back over here. Let's gather everybody's names. New dice, new list. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a three, five times. Name on top gets an entry. Good luck. One, two, three three, four, and once more, fifth and final time. Good luck. First off, thank you for trying everybody. Sad time for two through 30, but there are going to be a lot of opportunities to keep chasing the mantle. So keep it going, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Name on top, happy times for Adam, Adam B. Congrats to you. After five, your name's on top. You've got an entry. You're chasing the mantle. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.